Hello and welcome to another episode of TSS, your source for all things FIFA. Alright, so today is a quick fix, a short video that I think will f you guys will find helpful. If you don't already know some of these things, I'm going to be giving you some tips for how to take PKs. It seems so simple, yet so many people muck it up. Also, defending them can be a problem, and since this game seems to be PK happy, you're going to be facing them a lot. And anything you can do to increase the probability of saving or making a PK will massively help you in game. Alright, so here's some tips for taking PKs. Along with three bars of power in your shot, you want a 90 power shot taker ideally. I know that's not possible for everyone, but for me, the difference between Vidal and Royce is the difference between about a 75% conversion rate to about a 95% conversion rate. Royce is just so much better because even if your opponent gets his right with those higher shot power guys, it goes in any way a lot of the time. Now, this is the technique I use for scoring PKs. If you've watched me on Twitch, I'd go to the same side every time anyway. But it's just one count to the left. Just get it off center and then up three counts. That's to aim for the roof of the net. You don't want to go too high and risk missing, but high enough that if the guy guesses and doesn't just jump straight up, it's going to go in anyway. This is one of the best methods to score. I convert now at about 95%. Like I said, before I did that, I was hovering right around 70-75%. That's because the only way to save the kind of PK I just described is by guessing slightly to the left and up. It's not a high percentage guess. Most people are going to go left, right, center. This technique requires your opponent to actually guess left, center, up, or right, center, up, which makes the chances of you scoring so, so much higher. Alright, so here's a tip for defending PKs I don't think anyone's ever talked about. And that's if your opponent has a flashy player like a Cristiano Ronaldo or Neymar, or they're just a douchey opponent. Maybe they shushed you before the game, or, or shushed you after they scored, or they run up and down the field, super high press, they're impatient, uh, they're just all kinds of crazy, they're more likely to go to the center, I've noticed, and I think that's because they want to humiliate you, guys like Neymar, or Pirlo in particular, a lot of people with Pirlo, even though he's not a flashy player since he's known for going up the center, a lot of those people will go up the center as well, Ibra, Messi, a lot of those higher price players as well, people tend to go up the center more, I've noticed, and you can trigger this, and even if it's a not flashy player, you can trigger the mindset that you're going to go left or right, thus increasing the chances that your opponent will take their PK dead center by moving your goalkeeper around left, right, whatever. Get your goalkeeper off of the center. Make the center look very, very appealing to them, and they're more likely to go for it, and it's a very, very good baiting technique. I would say I stop about 50% of PKs against Neymar or Ronaldo, and that's no joke because most of the time I can get the guy to go dead center. If the guy goes up center left or up center right, then it's a goal every time. I just concede that way. But I think this is a way that you're going to see a lot more saves, and that will always, of course, over the long run, increase your chances of winning more games, winning titles, getting more coins, and being able to afford better players. All right, so if you found this all interesting or helpful, like and subscribe. I'm on Twitch at the Saintly Sounder. If you want to see me practice the advice I'm giving you, I'm also on Twitter at the Red Death 329. Again, I will be announcing my Twitch streams on my Twitter account. Although I do anticipate that this weekend, including tonight, will be on our normal schedule: Friday night Pacific Coast time, then Saturday afternoon Pacific Coast time, and so on. But check the Twitter account there. I will announce every Twitch stream with five minutes warning on there as well until next time see you on the pitch